Good morning, guys. How are y'all doing? I'm just drinking my coffee because I need caffeine. I'm a, not a morning person, so I have to drink coffee or Dr. Pepper or something. But as of right now, I am working on a list of books <laughs> that um, I uh, want to buy. I'm now, now on the back of the page. But, okay, so I have the book Christie by Kathleen, Catherine Marshall. And that book is about a young woman who was like in her late teens, early 20s. And her name was Christy. And she goes to Cutter Gap, Tennessee. Cutter Gap is actually a fictional. Don't quote me on that one. But Cutter Gap is up in the smoke. It's supposed to be smoking up in the Smoky Mountains. And supposed to be a fictional location in Tennessee. But then I've seen YouTube videos that had like where the like the actual houses of some of the people in the cutter, uh, in the book. So I don't know. Did she just change the name of the little, little um, village? Um, I don't want to say town because I had like maybe a, barely a hundred people in the, in the area. But it's about a young girl that goes up to goes to Tennessee to be a teacher in a, room, a one room schoolhouse and it was like in the uh, 1920s I think if I remember correctly no 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 that's not right um 19 teen, the teens 19 it was in, it was in between 1900 and 1920s 20s when it was done the storyline was done and then uh I like Ellie Banks, she passed away a few years ago back, but um, I like her books, and I got some of her books written down, and um, she did the Vampire Huntress series, I got some of those books down, and uh, so that's one of the ser one series I'm wanting to buy, and that one has like 13 or 14 bucks all together. And then I want The Hobbit. And Lord of the Rings. I had both of the, I had both series. The Hobbit, well both The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. But I've moved so much that I don't know what happened to the book. So I'm having to buy the new, buy new copies of the books. Because I don't know what happened. Because... I moved around a lot in my late twenties and thirties, late twenties, early thirties. So, but now I uh, I'm gonna get those books back and. But now I wanna go book guys. I have so many books, but I I love books. Now there um. I usually prefer the books over the movies if they make them in the movies. But there's one book that I actually preferred the movie over the book, and it was uh, Witches of Eastwick. Um, John Updike, he's a good author, but I felt like his book, uh, like Witches of Eastwick, was just. The book was just very drawn out in a few places, and uh, just I couldn't. I I have forced myself to read it. I had to force myself to read it. I just I could not get into it. But since I loved the movie so much, I'm like I want to read the book. And a guy I dated at the time, he bought me the book because he knew I loved the movie, and I just could. I had. I, I mean, I just could not. I couldn't get into it. But when, uh, then I loaned it out to a, a neighbor of mine that I had, and he never keep it back when he moved, so I'm like, so I really truly don't know if he, ha he even, he, if he still even has the book or not, which is, I hate, I hate that, but at the same time, it's okay. So, but, no, he's other than that, I just wanted to talk, and 
But, uh, shoot. But, no. I just. But, uh, no, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys watching my videos. And, um, hope you have a good rest of your week. Keep safe. And you are loved. I just want you to know that you guys are loved.